I, as we train and practice, we learn even to develop movements. And you get more sensitive to actually try things. Don't ever like hesitate to try something. People say, oh, you're crazy. What do you do? I guarantee you that would turn out to be an amazing position. Something very basic. I'm right here. See? I can be right here. Okay? This arm. I'm moving this way. Now I have the same control. I have both hands. Right here. All I want now is to make him move to the side. Now it gives me this. I can do the same thing holding here. All I want is to make him go out. My goal is how can I make his hands get away from his body? Then I have many ways to do it. I can go this way, move my leg inside, and leave both feet over here. I can even have my foot on the side. All I want now is See, if I bring the arm in, I shoot my leg, I can have the arm. If I go this way, I can turn to sweep. Or I can just here put his hand in my pocket. Here we go. Let it go everything. Imagine, how can I make him go to the side? Mark does that from triangle. Right here, people defend, he just pushed the side, then he adjusts his triangle. The same principle. Okay, let's get your hand, your foot over here. See, now start moving the leg to the side. Now my leg can go in, wrap around and let it go. If I'm not happy with this, I can just go here. Stretch, move over, triangle. The more I'm able to separate his arms from his body, keep your hands like this, more I can work on him, from everywhere. That's the principle behind, it's not just the technique we're doing over here. Okay, it's just a principle. It can be he holds my leg, it's the only arm free, I'm gonna move to the side, look. I'm moving, he's still holding my leg. You understand what we're doing over here? Spread his arms out. That's a three we're going to do. Holding both hands, holding the collar, I'm using my knees as a windshield. All right, I wanna see a higher belt with a lower belt. Every time the arm gets away, triangle, armbar, omoplata, sweep, because he's strong when he's like this. But when the person is this way, a lot of gaps that you can feel with your legs, okay? One, two, three. The floor here. Please make sure I don't slide open my knees out. Because every time I open my knees too much, he raises his leg. Then now I'm in a defense position here. Make sure whenever I open the guard, right here, control that arm, I turn. See? Foot on the hip, move. Now this foot comes from outside just to block him. Now is the thing, my arm should not be straight. I'm moving back in slowly. It is a way for you to practice and get good coordination with your legs and hip. Because my goal now is keep him here as long as possible. And you limit it a lot what your opponent can do and you're gonna be able to read what he can by controlling him in that position. For sure, he wants to get his arm out. I learned how to control. That's not easy to get out. See him follow his arm. And the challenge is, every time he drops the hand, my leg gets over. Every time he raises the elbow, he off base. You understand? It's a way for you to learn and progress, then two hands, control, but you need to develop the hip and leg functioning to make sure you don't use all your energy trying to control someone. And another thing very important, when you control guard, if my elbows are out, I'm gonna be using a lot more of my grip to control him. Always make sure your elbow turns towards your body. This way is more my shoulders, my whole upper body, than my hand. Try it, hold like this and see how hard it is to control someone. And when you go this way, you connect. Now it's a lot harder for him. I will wanna see you guys trying to actually get out. Can people raise their leg? Sure. 
got to be careful. You see what happened? You learn how to get him right on the button. As soon as you raise, he falls. As soon as you drop, triangle. As soon as you raise the elbow, he can fall. And back and forth, all right? You, with that control, you end up limited what movements he can do. And if I know what he can do before he does, I'm one step ahead. What that means is when I go to finish, you have no defense to avoid what I'm trying to do. All right? One, two, three.